Hey guys, it's me Stomp. In this episode, I show you how to make some mana from an explosion. It's pretty cool. Let's get on with it. Hey, welcome back. It's me Stomp and welcome back to some more Garden of Glass. Um, right, uh, first things first. Stomp on that like button. Please do it. Please, please do it. Stomp on the like button. Also, if you're new here, please do subscribe uh, for daily videos. I have to get this out straight away at the beginning of the video. I know it's terrible, but please do that. That would be awesome. Um, uh, also, um, I've uh, if you if you don't know already, I've uh, set up a new channel um, to play different games other than Minecraft. Um, so if you want to, you don't have to, uh, please head on over to that channel. Link is in the description down below. Uh, and subscribe and hit the notification icon on there and uh, you'll be able to know when I uh, upload new videos on there for different games. You don't have to do it. You don't have to. Not if you don't want to. Um, anyway, peoples, um, I've been busy. I've been, I've been a little bit busy. I've built this area here. Um, I spent a long time uh, building all of this. Uh, I've used pretty much all the wood I have. <laughs> um, I haven't used all of the living wood, but uh, I've been, I've been making a lot of living wood. Um, so let me show you. Uh, <laughs> this chest is now pretty much empty of uh, any any wood and uh i've been uh sp spamming the living wood uh with my wand and and just making a little bit extra uh in here and using up uh, all the spare bits that uh, uh mr j left and uh wouldn't mind so um i've been doing that uh, off camera uh making that area for for a specific thing and that's down to obviously what we're doing today which you would have seen in the preview um so yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to automate the entropinium, and I'm I know I'm going to regret it. I, I just know, I just know I'm going to regret it. But um, it's definitely going to be worth it if we can use it. We can get a ton of mana now. All of these little mana pools around here, yeah, they're all okay. Um, really, really handy things to have, but not enough mana. I want to produce massive amounts of mana because. If you look in the book, where's the book? Where did I put the book? There's the book. Here it is. If you look in the book, uh, let me go back to uh, challenges. Here is create a mana battery, a system where mana enters one pool and comes out of another with a good amount of pools as a buffer. Now, I want to do that, um, and I'm going to do it on a large scale. Now, um, that's what this area is for. I need to eat, man. I need to eat real bad. Uh, that's what this area is for, to produce a large mana battery. And then, if we ever want to make Terra Steel or anything like that, plus we're going to have to fight the Gaia, uh, we've got this area to do it in. So, um, yeah, I can't wait. Uh, but I need the Terra Steel glum -lum 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 plate. But I'm going to do that next episode. Today, I would like to automate the Entropinium. So, uh, to get going on the Entropinium, we are going to need two red, two dark grey, two mystical white. We're going to need a Rune of Wrath. Not too bad. That's two mana diamonds. A Rune of Winter and a Rune of Earth. A Rune of Earth is uh, Chiseled Stone, Block of Coal, Mushroom, Mana Powder, Mana Steel, Inga. And obviously, we're going to get two of those. And then the Rune of Winter... Well, that's a rune of water, rune of earth, uh, snow, white wool, and a cake. But lucky me, lucky, lucky me, I already have one um, from last time, I think it was. So, the only thing we're going to need to make today is the rune of earth, which is a mushroom, a coal, and all that stuff that I was just telling you about. So, let's grab this, let's grab those, let's grab this, and let's get this thing going. Because um, uh, the automation part... It's not going to be fun. I'm not looking forward to it. Also, uh, somebody commented and said, did I lose my book uh, when I was doing my uh, enchanting last episode? No, I've still got it. No, nope, didn't lose it. Not at all. Still got it. So um, no need to worry about that. Uh, okay, so uh, that, that, there we go. Let's, uh, let's get all these going. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and a five. That should be the Rune of Earth. Now I just need to grab some Living Rock. Um, also... Got a new texture pack on. Um, thanks to uh, Crimson Fluff, who's updated it uh, and, and set up a new texture pack. That's what I'm using right now. Um, which does some really cool things. When you open a chest, you can see like 
Twitch and Patreon and things like that on there, which I thought was kind of nice. Uh, okay, let's grab the Wand of the Forest. Let's make this bad boy. There we go. Cool. Uh, then we need to make the Rune of Wrath, which is just the two mana diamonds and then one of these and one of these, which we can spam these now uh, if, if we ever need to. We can make a whole bunch of these Runes of Wrath. So that, that, or that, that. Easy. Easy done. It's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Right, come on. Let's have this. Oh, this is going to take a while. This is going to take a while. So, um, yeah, just the other things that I've done is is allowed this to fill up. Uh, wow, that, that looks empty there. Look, how cool is that? I've allowed this to fill up, and that is it. Um, this is all working perfectly, uh, although I don't have any enchanted books, and I don't quite know how I'm going to get them. Where will I get enchanted books? Also, I'm thinking about doing a trip to the nether. Um, but I was thinking maybe I should do it off camera um, and just focus more on what's going on around here because I would love to find, if possible, some... Uh, uh, some uh, oh, I can't remember what they're called. O overgrowth seeds, that's it. Overgrowth seeds uh, would be amazing um, to get if I could. Uh, I'd like to do that. So anyway, there we go. We've got our Rune of Wrath. Uh, now we just need our two white, two gray, and two red, which should be pretty simple. Let's put those in there. Luckily, we get all the uh, the runes back as well, which is nice. Um, two white, uh, two gray, and then two red. There we go. Done. And uh, we're going to need these as well. Uh, we need some seeds. There we go. And I think that's it, right? Oh, Rune of Fire. Oh, yeah, we've got that. There it is. Right. Unfortunately, that's going to cost us a Rune of Fire, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, also, I want to get this thing automated. Um, it's, it's just such a pain to keep refilling it. But hey-ho, never mind. Never mind. Um, we can do that. Right, okay. Uh, now we've got this. I'm going to just get myself a little setup over here and then um, we'll get it running and I'll kind of explain it to you. So give me a second, guys. I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm getting this thing set up. I'm finding it really annoying because uh, I'm having to travel such a distance now and I can't fly. Uh, it's time to do something. It's time to make uh, something completely new. Let's, let's make... Um, uh, let's type in rod... Uh, this guy, Rod of the Sky. So we need a Rune of Air. So it's String, Feather, White Carpet, Mana Steel, and uh, and the Duda. Uh, string, Feather, White Carpet. Easy. We can do this. Uh, right. Feather, uh, White Carpet, String. Where's String? I know I've got String in here somewhere. I can find it. No, it's probably all been put over here because I've actually updated uh, the Mob Spawner a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. That's good. Oh, and look at the texture. That's cool. Uh, so we've got gunpowder in there, that in there, nothing in there, and string in here. I only need one. There we go. I'm, I'm going to make this thing. Uh, oh, no. I've got to gotta make the rune first, guys. Make the rune. Um, I'm going to make this thing because it's really annoying having to uh, uh, walk around and, um, and do all this stuff. Uh, so... Let's do this, uh, this, and uh, this, and we're going to need, let's put these up here, uh, this guy here, this guy here, and we'll have that guy there, and we'll have these guys here. Right, okay, one, 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 and done. Come on, be quick. Um, another thing I'm going to need to make is the, uh, is it the running, running, rat, rat, rat Rannan Carpus. I need another one of those today. Um, that's going to help me with what we're doing. We're going to make it floating again, as always. It, it just makes life so much easier having it floating. Uh, but we're going to make one of those in a second as well. So uh, I'll, I'll stick with you uh, to do that. But um, right, now we've made uh, two runes of air. We only need the one. We need, I think, was it a stick? Uh, yeah, living wood, um, stick, thing, and um, a feather there we go got that bad boy oh we'll take oh no i thought that was something else uh living wood planks living wood planks right good there we go give me that guy put that there put that there and put that there there we go ah oh, rod of the skies there you go we can we can kind of fly there's a bit of a cool down on it but it means that i can do this 
and kind of move around the map a little bit better. Um, now, it's not the best way to travel, but at least it's... Um, I thought you can uh, you can double jump this thing. Maybe not. Maybe not. But at least it's going to get us about anyway. Um, it's definitely going to be better uh, than, uh, than walking. That's for sure. And plus we can get to some very awkward spots if we need to. Um, okay. So, Ran and Carpus. Let's look at the uh, recipe for the Ran and Carpus again. Ran and Carpus. There it is. Uh, so it is Rune of Earth, uh, yellow, red, red, and redstone root. I've got all of that. I've just made Rune of Earth, so uh, that should be really easy to do. Uh, there we go. One of those. Uh, redstone root. It's almost like I knew. It's almost like I knew. Running carpus again uh, is... I said red, red. That was orange. My bad. My bad. Orange, orange, and then yellow. Fantastic. Right. Let's make this bad boy. Uh, do we have... Nope. We don't, but we can use this now. Done. <laughs> so much easier. So much easier. Right, so. Uh, you, uh, you, 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 you. Did it all go in? Yes, it did. And did we pick up the seeds? No, we did not. Let's grab some seeds. Uh, there we go. Cool. And let's throw that in. There we go. Ran and carpus. Right, now we're going to need that to be the, uh, the glowing variety, aren't we? So... Uh, where did I put my pasture seeds? I had like a whole stack of pasture seeds. Uh, they must be down here. Also, the Endermen. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the Endermen are are just annoying. I'm 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 done with Endermen right now. Really, really done with Endermen. I've had enough of them. Uh, let's grab one of you. One of those will do perfectly. Uh, so, uh, as before, we're going to make it floating. So, let's have the uh, the glimmering thing. Whoops. Uh, this guy here, uh, the pasture seed there. And we don't have the dirt on us. So, let's just make a piece of dirt on the ground. Um, pick that straight up. Please. Please. Is my mana tablet empty? No. There we go. That's more like it. Uh, we'll pick that guy up. There we go. Um, and let's do this. Do this. Do this. There we go. And then make a floating Ranan Carpus done. Awesome. We could make that floating, but it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so now we've got that. Another thing we're going to need is a hopper. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's grab a chest. Or do we have... Yeah, we can make a chest. Let's make a chest. Like so. Done. And uh, what else are we going to need? Let me think about this. We're going to need... Uh, we've got that guy. We've got this guy. We need gunpowder. We need a lot of gunpowder. Um, I'll tell you what, guys. I'll go away and I will make as much gunpowder as I can with uh, all of this uh, gunpowder. As much TNT as I can with all of this gunpowder I have here and whatever else we've got in there as well. Um, I'll make all of that and then um, let's get this thing built. It's going to be scary but interesting. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I think we're pretty much ready to test this out now. Uh, I've kind of got it set up. It's it's looking okay. Um, this is kind of how it's going to work. We've got the redstone set up, uh, the open crate here, the mana spreader aiming at these uh, mana pools, uh, which is where we're going to collect the mana. Um, the only real thing to do is do a bit of a test and try and... Um, Try and see what happens. <laughs> I'm hoping we're going to be okay and not explode things. But let me explain this. Um, so we've got the hopper. This is ready to test this to, just to make sure it works. At the moment, uh, that's not activating. And, and naturally, it does activate. So with the redstone signal there coming from the torch, uh, we should be good to go. The only thing is I need to make sure that this is going to drop uh, when I want it to. So um, let's just put in uh, some sand in here. Uh, let's just do let's just do 10 seconds for now um, and see there we go I really don't like that I can see a pig's face on that chest that is that's crimson fluff trolling me there um, but there we go let's do that after 10 seconds one piece of wood should drop now imagine this as TNT and let's see there we go one piece of wood dropped after 10 seconds and I just want to make sure it works again so that we know it's it's perfect. 
good. Okay, that works. That works. So I can set this up uh, to whatever time I would like. Let's take these out of here. Uh, okay, so um, because we're using this, let's put this guy right oh no wrong wrong block <laughs> put that guy right there and then um we're going to want our floating running carpus now because we don't use a lot of these blocks and we're pretty far away from anywhere of any other blocks we can put our running carpus probably uh like here uh, and we'll put that there and then we'll put him there now he covers that entire area which is great uh so any manner that's in here um will go uh into this guy so that he can do his job and place what we want him to place uh the next job is to literally place the entropinium now i'm quite nervous about this i'm not going to lie um but we'll 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 do whatever we'll do whatever it takes now that's bound to here because i put that down first so we know that that's bound to there um so the first thing we're going to need to do is do i have no i don't we're going to need to go and grab some cobblestone that's the first thing we're going to need to do um if i've got any left because i turned it all into sand using the uh, alchemy catalyst uh but let's just go down here let's see uh i can chisel that back to normal cobblestone that's no problem um i've decided this thing although it's kind of uh, a, a nice little gimmick it, it doesn't really move you any quicker i was hoping it would um but it's it's okay it's okay uh so uh let's do this can we uh no sorry where's my chisel i've got a chisel here let's do this then uh turn that back into normal cobblestone thank you i don't know whether i needed to do that but i did anyway let's do this and then um, let's make ourselves a lever just like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to put that lever down just like there and we're going to turn it on okay <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of mana out of my tablet because my mana tablet's full anyway because we're producing a decent amount of mana at the moment I'm going to take my mana out of here um, out of my tablet just so that I can give that random carpus a little bit of uh, a little bit of a boost and some power I don't think it needs much. That'll do. Um, so hopefully, uh, I'm so sorry you can hear all this going on. Um, there's there's a bit of a storm going on outside. Um, so I do apologise if you can hear that. Um, there's not really much I can do about it. Um, my room is not that soundproof, so I do apologise. Um, okay, there we go. So that should uh, that should receive mana. It's bound to this guy. So uh, let me just check and make sure it is. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Makes me happy now. Okay, so the only thing left to do is to put down some TNT. Now, I haven't actually made the TNT, and I want to keep all of this. Um, let me grab uh, one more of those. The reason is um, I want that's that's a minute and four seconds. It, it shouldn't take that long to empty out, but I just want that just in case, just in case things don't quite go to plan. So let's grab all of this um, and let's start making some TNT. Uh, so let's do this Luckily, uh, it's not that expensive to make a lot of TNT right come on there we go Right, so we can make that much at the moment. I Just need more cobblestone, which is fine. I can ask mr. J kindly uh, to come on here and um, And help us out right. Let me turn that off for a second. Let's check that the system's gonna work um I'm going to throw one down. I'm just thinking, what what can I do to check? Let's do that. Let's see what happens. Random carp has picked it up and dropped it down. Okay, so now let's activate the TNT. Oh my gosh, please work. Done. And then this guy will start pulling out the, um, the mana. Not very fast. I expected it to be quicker, and this guy is still full. That's uh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a timer quickly, and I want to test this out. Give me a second. Okay, guys, I've got my timer in my hand. Let's test this out. Let's see. I'm going to throw this in three, two, one, go. 
Right, we're going. Now I need to see how long it takes for this guy to empty out. So far, 17 seconds. 19. 21. 23. 26. 30 seconds. 37 seconds, we'll say. For argument's sake, 37 seconds. So, if I want this to automatically work, it's 37 seconds. Now, I want to give it at least uh, a bit of room to move. Uh, so, I am going to give it uh, 32, 35, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to give it 45 seconds, I think. Just to be sure, just to be 100% certain that I'm going to be able to collect um, enough mana and that random carpus will pick up the TNT and give that time to uh, empty as well. So let's do that. Uh, let's put in, we'll put in, uh, we'll put in two TNT for now just to check. And uh, let's see how this works. Hopefully. Uh, this is all gonna work perfectly. Please do please please work, please because it all depends on how quick that picks up as well That's the uh, that's the downside I think and It has to scan this entire area as well to pick the thing up. So We'll see we'll see what happens. Uh, this is gonna go any second Let's make sure this works Here we go here we go. Any minute now. That's going to flip. There we go. TNT on the ground. Now that's bad. That is really bad. That is really, really bad. Okay. That's, that's a failed test. That is a failed test. Give me, give me, oh, no, 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 I've locked it. Give me, give me you. Uh, 45 seconds was fine, but I don't think the running carpus likes being where it is. So uh, let's move this. There we go. Uh, we'll move that because we don't want that there. Uh, we'll put some dirt down. There we go. Cool. And let's put the running carpus right here next to um, where the TNT drops out. And maybe that will work better i don't know why this this uh flower is, is it's a little bit weird it, it didn't work perfectly for me last time um and then again it's not as well so what one are you bound to this time you're bound to this one that's fine um so that should drop right next to it and then it should pick it up and go from there so uh we'll go with 45 seconds again there is a piece of tnt inside there still uh, we'll put the second one in just to be sure and I need to be ready on this switch in case it drops it when I'm not uh, when I don't want it to so uh, this guy's empty because if this guy's got some mana in it and it's not empty the whole thing will explode and we don't want that to happen we really don't want that to happen so um, let's just check hopefully this is gonna drop any second now All right this guy's definitely empty you're almost empty good times it's a shame I can't I don't think I can bind one flower you can't to two spreaders otherwise that would make it so much easier um, but we can see that that's shimmering so that's definitely got enough um, mana in it right there we go that's dropped and it's popped it let's keep going with this then that's emptying out Still emptying out. I need to be sure that this is going to work. I don't want to cut it too fine. And there you go, it's empty. And that's still giving it time for... There you go. 
So that will work. That will work. That will actually work perfectly because there's plenty of time to sit and wait. There is plenty of time to sit and wait. Um, so that's good news. That is that is great news. I can put all these in here. And we have ourselves a nice little uh, setup for, um, for mana. This is great. And, and you get a ton of mana from exploding TNT. So uh, that's fantastic because that means I will be able to... Um, uh, collect more mana and then over here somewhere we'll make our mana battery and also open up the portal to the alpine and make some terra steel um but yeah guys i'm gonna leave it there for today if you did enjoy please do stomp on that like button uh please show your support for the channel uh that would be fantastic if you could do that um also if you're new here please do subscribe for daily videos um uh also check out my second channel for uh for other games other than minecraft and um please hit the notification icon on both channels so you'll be the first to know when i upload a new video but guys thanks so much for watching i've been stomp the beam this has been garden of glass quest book edition and i'll see you in the next episode save it for the track it'll never be the same after come back yeah. she like devin has to when she run back yeah. after the wave of course took her on a date three course paid for her meal three course and then she tell me that my dreams are dumb fuck you i still fuck you Preach. ash and kutcher when i punk you oh you the shit let me flush you you'll van go crazy when i brush you that a day saint flow Damn. preaching like a mormon let me punt you yeah. laughing to the bank what you gonna do take it from the top like a run through now follow Preach. me to first peter 3 14 but even Preach. if you should suffer for what is right you yes, are Lord. blessed do not fear their threats do not be frightened